Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. What might we see today, Stuart? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is the lineup for the home team. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Rafael Toloi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the contest begins. Verratti. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Rakip. I must say, this looks promising. Ball back with Italy now. Leonardo Spinazzola. And possession lost, intercepted. Pellegrini setting off perhaps a little bit too much here well he stopped them in their tracks Elmas well that pass easy on the eye the supporters want to see him have a go Elmas, real chance, keeper getting the touch, and the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping, firstly the save, and then the recovery, brilliant from him. Well, they couldn't keep it. Pellegrini. Now with Barella. It is now with Jorginho. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate.
Well, just look at this again. Great technique, good accuracy, and enough power to beat the keeper. That's an excellent goal. One nil then. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Plenty of running room in the wide position. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Almost at half-time, it's going the way of the visitors as things stand. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. And so it is, the first-half story has been written. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Barella. Ariana Demi. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Barella. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Oh, blocked it! And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Over it comes, and collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. Verratti, Barella. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Jorginho. Intercepting it intelligently. Alioski. Nestorovsky. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Jorginho. Berardi has it. Jorginho. Fluency of movement. clearing their lines and so it will be a corner now well they've decided to make a change And deciding to go short with this one. And he read it well, intercepting it. Jorginho. On the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper.
Now in the dying embers of the game, it looks as though the visitors have done enough. Stuart, your assessment? Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Just got to see out the final few minutes now. No silly mistakes at the back. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. And that will be that. A win for Italy, just what their fans were hoping for. Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.